good morning in the last session we were discussing about cyclone cyclotron we learned about its construction its principle and also working how does it work and also we have seen its applications now we will take some problem based on cyclotron the first one is a cyclotron's oscillator frequency is oscillator frequency is 10 megahertz what should be the operating magnetic field what should be the operating magnetic field for accelerating protons if the radius of its d is 60 cm is 60 cm what is the kinetic energy what is the kinetic energy in bracket you write in in mega electron volt in mev of the proton beam proton beam produced by the accelerator produced by the accelerator and we are also in bracket we have a few given things I will write those things you can also note down E is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and mass of proton is also given as mp equal to 1.67 here you can write 1.60 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg then 1 mega electron volt one mega electron volt because uh, first we will calculate in terms of joules and then we will convert one mega electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 1.6 into <coughs> 10 to the power minus 13 joules first let us read a cyclotron's oscillator frequency is 10 megahertz what should be the operating magnetic field for accelerating protons if the radius of its dc is 60 centimeter what is the kinetic energy in mega electron volt of the proton being produced by the accelerator remember one point if the radius of the dc is 60 centimeter the maximum radius which the semicircular path can attain is also equal to 60 centimeter which will help us to determine the maximum kinetic energy now given 
the oscillator frequency given cycle given things will write given cyclotron's oscillating frequency oscillator frequency is I'll take it as F 10 megahertz also given the radius of the D we'll take it as capital R equal to 60 centimeter and we have the other things uh, given quantities in the bracket now first we'll find out uh, what is the operating magnetic field now for the controlled motion of charged particle the oscillator frequency and the frequency of accelerating proton must match therefore we can write for the controlled motion of charged particle for the control motion of charged particle the oscillator frequency the oscillator frequency the oscillator frequency and the frequency of accelerating proton must match accelerating proton must match <coughs> therefore uh, frequency of proton is also 10 megahertz frequency of accelerating proton is equal to 10 megahertz and we know F is given by and this accelerating proton frequency F is equal to F is equal to BQ divided by 2 pi m according to the formula we are asked to find out what is the required magnetic field what should be the operating magnetic field from this equation we can write the value for B B becomes equal to rewrite the equation 2 pi m f 2 pi mf divided by q now mass of proton is given frequency we know charge of proton is also given here we have mass is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 and also we have charges 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so substitute all the values 2 pi into mass of proton that is given as 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 frequency is 10 mega mega is 10 to the power minus 6 divided by charge Q that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 now we have to do this calculation 
and the answer will be all SI units we are using so it will be in Tesla B is the required magnetic field just let us do the calculation it's 2 into pi into 1.67 exponential 27 multiplied by 10 exponential 6 whole divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 this comes to around 0.655 tesla or i can write beta b is equal to 1.66 tesla the required magnetic field for the operation is 0.66 tesla now next is the next question is to find out what is the kinetic energy of the proton beam produced by the accelerator the maximum kinetic energy what is the kinetic energy produced now uh, ke will be equal to the kinetic energy is equal to half m into maximum velocity achieved by the proton and remember the radius of the circular path is given by r divided by m e into q b and here the maximum velocity will be given by v max as q into b into this r will become capital r where uh, the maximum radius which the proton will follow during the path is equal to the radius of the d so v max will be q b r divided by m where this r capital r is the radius of the d which is the maximum radius the circular path can attain during the motion so that will be equal to half into m into v you substitute q square b square r square divided by m square now one m m will get cancelled so the kinetic energy is equal to half into b square q square r square divided by m b square q square r square by 2 uh, m now substitute uh, just now we found b as 0.66 square 0.66 i will do the square no, I'll take out the square outside and then q we know 1.60 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and the radius of the d is given as 60 centimeter that will be equal to 60 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 meter and whole term square because all are square divided by 2 into mass of proton that is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 Now let us do this calculation, you will get it in joules. 0.66 multiplied by 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 19 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2. And they are square divided by 2 divided by 1.67 exponential this is 27 and that gives us the value as 0 0.12 into 10 to the power minus 11 joules joule okay now convert this into electron 
और काइनेटिक वोल्ट काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड आउट काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट इट इज गिवन दैट वन मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस थर्टीन सो दिस मच जो लस हाउ मेनी मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस इलेवन डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस थर्टीन दिस मैनी मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट डू द कैलकुलेशन सो इट इज Yes, that is seven point five mega electron volt. Therefore, the kinetic energy in mega electron volt of the proton being produced is seven point five. Kinetic energy of proton is seven point five mega. इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट 